The otters that I rescued, cared for, vaccinated against disease, and treated when they were young have now grown up and have enough skills to live in the wild. They even know things like how to stop keratitis in dirty water or to eat mangrove crabs to treat intestinal inflammation. It's time. I don't need to cure them anymore. So now I have the otter quarantine area worth $700 removed to give the house back to my parents. With the current way of otter conservation, I need to get the ark into the mangrove forest to watch for otters. Then I'm sure we will be welcoming the first breeding season of rescued, smooth-coated otters in 2024. I rescued 22 baby otters in 2020, created an otter house to raise them, created an otter school to make otters friendly with each other and separate pet otters from wild otters, created an otter garden for them to play in, made an otter pond for them to practice survival skills, made an otter clinic to treat their illnesses, and I made an otter ark to accompany them in their journey. I have spent thousands of dollars to rescue, care for, and treat otters. Now I have six, but that is also my last hope, and I cannot do more for these otters. I can only relieve this burden. If I still kept the place that treats adult otters, I would probably have many more scars on my body. To successfully preserve this animal in the wild, it costs a lot of money and effort because natural food sources are scarce and the habitat is polluted. If you want to help this animal survive in the mangrove forest, many people must support me. But unfortunately, people are only interested in pet otters until they kill them.